So people always say to me, you know, you know, could Magic and Larry, you know, play in today's game? I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and they say, well, what's the difference between those three? I said, here's the difference between those three. And I saw it many, many times. Larry and Magic could control the game by taking 10 shots. They'd, they'd have 17 points, 15 rebounds, 12 assists, four steals. If you got Michael Jordan to take 10 shots, you control him. It's off to the right. Jordan on the drive. Falls down underneath. Oh, 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 oh. From the left side. Jordan. Oh, what a drive. Oh, what a drive. Michael Jordan, what you have to do to him is try not to let him catch the basketball. If he ever gets the ball in his hands, you're done. Inbounds the cart right to Jordan. Time winding down. Michael for three. Yeah! 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 Yes! 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 Earlier in uh, Michael's days, we beat them six times, me and, and uh, uh, Daryl did. We was in Chicago. So it was three seconds left. He got Michael Jordan. And uh, Stan Alvack said, what's the best defense for Michael Jordan? Sugar said, me having some offense. He said, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do this play. He did this play. I come off. I'm down there wide open waiting for the ball. He came across half court. He shot the ball with three seconds left, and he said, come on. <laughs> the ball is still in the air. And he just runs off. Come on. And he started running. You know, we had to go downstairs to get oh, to the locker room. Everybody was standing there looking like this. Switch right through. We beat Chicago, and right? he's already gone. We get down to the locker room. He coming out of the shower. I, I, I told y'all to come on. <laughs> <laughs> he would take the last shot.